few weeks ago, a fella asked me what kind of tips I use in my soldering station. So let's start with the soldering station. All of my soldering stations are now JBC model soldering stations that I picked up secondhand on eBay. And here are the elements that I use along with their part numbers. The top one is the spade, I call it, and it will stretch across 9.156 headers, making header removal as easy as it can be, I'd say. The next one down will stretch across a TIP-102 or some other 3-pin TO-220 devices, and it makes removing those quite easy. The one sort of in the middle is for headers. It, it's the one that ends in 965, and it sort of wraps itself around the header and delivers a lot of heat. So headers go on quite easily. Below that is a chisel tip one, which is sort of general purpose. I use that thing all the way from headers to sockets. Below that is a, it's used for um, drag soldering. It's got a little bit of a concave tip on it. I don't use that one very often, but if you're gonna do drag soldering, you have to have something like that. And the lower one on the right is just a simple um, round point one, it's general purpose. The one that's vertical on the left, ending, ending in 036, is a, um, I don't know, a dagger point. It's, it's a really super sharp point, and it is wonderful for getting underneath uh, SIP sockets to solder directly to the board. And I'm also pretty chintzy with my Hako FR301 filters. Once a filter gets dirty, I'll just sort of slice the dirty part off and then reinstall. There's plenty of good filter left. Happy New Year, everyone.